today is a serious day. We got the cross skis, Ted and I, Vanya. <laughs> we are gonna hike up Lustville Falls Trail in Gatineau Park, which is over there. Steepest uphill trail in the whole park. And then we're gonna ski back to Gatineau. It's gonna be about a 30 kilometer day. It's March 30th today, and it's about four degrees Celsius outside. Snow is slowly disappearing, so today might be the last ski of the season, but it should be a fun adventure. So, thank you very much for watching. Let's do this. Trail. Just saw Lustville Falls. It's kind of a peak time for the falls. All the snow is melting. Like this, check it out. Bam! We're now in the snow. Hopefully, there's more snow at the top. Clister wax. Messy stuff. Sticking onto my jacket. My bag, everything is clustered. We're 500 meters away from the Lus Lusville Fire Tower, which is pretty much the point where we'll be able to put these bad boy skis on and make our way down, down, down back to Gatineau. We're totally in snow now. We started, there's no snow on the ground. It's interesting what like a few hundred meters of elevation can do. Poured rain last night in Ottawa, but over here, so far it doesn't seem to have done too much damage to the top of the hill. We've made it to the fire tower. We are ready to strap on our skis, have a snack, and hit some ski trails. Shred some gnar. Two kilometers into the ski, about four kilometers into this total adventure, made it to McKinstry Cabin. Oh yeah, and there's a fire inside McKinstry Cabin too, and nobody's here, so that's cool. Somebody came and lit the fire this morning, so thanks to whoever did that. into the route. Making decent progress, good pace, fun times on the slushy snow. That's what it's like, end of March, get in a park. Come out, do it. It's easy and fun. We took a detour to Champlain Lookout. This spot in the winter uh, is not plowed, so this whole, like, all the roads to get here are just ski trails, which is awesome. We got Ted and Vani over here, looking cute. Gonna get back on trail number one, 
Ridge Road, make our way to a spot called Penguin, and get past Chelsea and make our way back towards Ottawa. Supposed to rain today, and no rain. So, all good. It actually like poured last night, uh, but it's a really awesome day on the trails and barely anyone's out here. I think we've seen two or three people. We are at Huron Cabin. Great place to stop for lunch. There's a wood stove in here. I can smell the smoke right now. Cook a little sandwich on there in tin foil. You gotta do it and it's so easy and it doesn't cost a lot of money to be here. If you're watching and you live in the Ottawa area and actually wanna do this and don't have a ride, I will literally drive people here to have this experience because I like it that much. I've only been cross country skiing for two years. This is like the end of my second season. It's just made winter in Canada so much better. And renting skis doesn't cost a lot of money either. Here on Cabin, Gatineau Park, Trail 1. There is an owl right there. How cool is that? We're about to get off trail number one down this hill called Penguin. On a faster day, people go down in less than two minutes and it's a kilometer long. It's pretty fast. It's been a really good day so far. We're probably at about 20 kilometers. We've got about 10-ish left. Pink Lake. We're about 27 kilometers into the ski. By the time we're done, it will be over 30K on Gatineau Parkway right now. Still lots of snow, so if we're lucky, we'll, we'll have probably two more weeks of skiing at least. We are done. 32 and a half kilometers from oh. Lustville Falls Trail all the way to P1 Asiku down Trail 1 and Gatineau Parkway for the most part. Point on my channel also. I'm this close to getting 200 subscribers. So if you like this video or if you liked other videos on my channel, then you can click subscribe. Right now I actually think it's pretty amazing that I've got close to 200 subscribers. I just have this channel for fun and it's kind of neat that more than just my friends or family are watching these videos. So if you're already subscribed, thank you very much for that. For real. More videos to come. I'm not sure when, but they will happen. I'm planning a bike packing trip on the Great Divide mountain bike route in a few months, so there will be a video of that. I know that much for sure. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye!